Right, carrying on up Somerton Coombe, folks, which we haven't done for a while, so this is not the usual one. We've varied it. Very quiet, peaceful Coombe. Very beautiful today. Very good for photography today. Now, this I remember this tree falling across like this from several years ago. And at uh, certain times of the year, it's oozing fungi. Uh, it's not quite ready yet. The fungi is late this year, I think, or I'm early. But fungi will start emerging from this tree. Uh, I can remember seeing lots of it coming out of the bark. I've got old pictures, you see, and old video footage. But deer, there's lots of footprints of deer down there. Um, lots of footprints of deer. Yeah, so it's, it's a, it is a while. It could be, well, I don't know, it's over five years since I've walked here. Definitely. Because when I used to have to do bus and train, there wasn't time to branch off and do too much of the other coombs. You know, because of time. And <clears throat> things like that. But it is so gorgeous, so isn't it? I can't stop videoing, folks. I can't stop taking photos. Look at that there. I just can't stop doing it. And of course, I haven't done this for a while. Somerton Coombe. That's what's going to be mentioned when I do the write-up and the editing. And uh, these marks here, they're deer marks. You can see they're hoof prints. There are quite a lot of them further back. And we could even bump into the, the rutting. This is the, this is the start of the rutting season, by the way. And there's people who come out with their huge cameras. And they capture the, they capture the stacks. They come out like four o'clock in the morning. You know, well, when it's light. Some come out at night and they hide and they wait. And they have magnificent pictures of the stags in the mist and stuff. Well, I haven't I haven't gone that far yet. Coming out late or very early. I would if I lived over here. Oh, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? That scene. Just that scene there. In front of me, I'm going to have to take a picture of. Once I get out of the glare of the sun completely. There, look. Oh. Of course, the deer are hearing me coming, won't they? Oh, is that Sheila coming again? She's such a noisy girl. She's always talking to herself. But well, she's harmless, so she always says hi to us as she goes by. She's not the hunts people, no. She's not the hunts people. Those of you who, fo who follow me, I've got to cross the bloody stream again in a minute, folks. Those of you who follow me, now, do I go that way or do I carry on? This is where I can't remember, see? I don't know if I go that way. Something tells me I need to go up there. Something tells me no, not yet. So what I'm going to do is just come up here a little bit. Because that could be the route I've got to take to go up round. You see what I mean? Otherwise I'll just end up at higher hair nap already. I just can't remember. It's such a long time I've done it. I might have to come back. It looks easy to cross there at the moment and go up there. I just can't remember, folks. Or it could be 
this is the one I've got to stay on. But I've got a feeling I should. If that, if that route there goes up through there, no. But if it goes that way, yes. I just can't remember. I usually do it in the other direction as well. When I'm doing it in the other direction, I know where I'm going. Yeah, yeah. So, at the moment, because of sun's in my eyes as well, I can't see a thing. I can't quite see where that route's going. If it has got to take me up that way, I don't know. I don't really want to end up at her nap yet. It's too early. I've just got a feeling this isn't the one. I've just got a feeling this is the one that takes me up here nap. Oh my god. You can't see where you're walking. It looks very boggy. I can't really see. Well, what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll go up here so far. Oh god, look at the deer. I've been here. There'll be ticks everywhere. Well, yeah. This is where they've been gathering recently. Look, those of them have been here. They're not going to be far. They'll be up on the hill sunbathing. This is probably where they come. I, I'm just wondering if I should be over there, folks. Oh, I just can't remember. Oh, I just can't remember. Now, if it branches off and it starts going up steep, I know I've got to go back. Or, well, yeah, otherwise it's going to ruin the walk. I'll be at hair and nap before I know it. <sighs> Can't see, you see? It's my eyes are like overtaken by the sun. I don't know. I don't know where I am at the moment. I don't know if I should be going over there. I can't see a thing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Let's try and get out of the sun. Oh, no. I've, I'm not sure at the moment if I should be the other side of that hill. I just don't know. I can't remember. We'll go up. we just go up to this bit and see if it forks off. If not, I think you're down in the lower part, Shill. Yeah. Yeah. This looks to me as if it's going up to higher hair nap. Does it? Yeah. I got a feeling you should be over there somehow. I don't know. This to take you up up high, I think. I don't know, I can't remember. That's why, and I'm really taking time up doing this diversion. Oh no, I just don't know. I reckon I should be the other side of that hill. Oh, it's such a long time. It could be seven or eight years. I've got a feeling I should be the other side of that hill. Do you? Yeah. I've got a feeling this is going up to the naps. If it starts turning that way, I reckon it is. And I'll have to go back. I just can't remember. Honestly, I can't remember. All I remember is I used to follow a hill round. I just can't remember. Oh, can't you know? just can't remember. It's such a long time ago. Oh, you're making a mistake, Sheila. I know I am. I'm fucking up the day, and I? I reckon you are, girl. I don't know what you're going to do. I think that's taking you up to the nap. Do you? Oh no. I can't, I just really, really can't remember. It's that bad, is it? Yeah. What I think now, 
This just takes me up to higher hair nap. Is it? Yeah. You have to go back. You have to go back. You've come the wrong way. Oh. Oh. oh, it doesn't matter. If you end up not doing what you intended, it doesn't matter. It's still exploring. It's still exploring, Sheila. And um, I always forget, though. You know, I make the same mistakes. You think you'd learn. It's like forgetting someone's name and calling them something else and always calling them that name even though they've told you a thousand times it's not their name and I'm just saying with when I make errors I do it again even though I rectify it I always do it so what you're going to do um, I'm going back I'm going to cross the stream I'm going up that other one I've got a feeling that just takes me up to the naps and I'll be like there in like half an hour <laughs> and that ain't the plan for today I see it as a learning curve basically you've got to walk all the way down and try and cross the stream alright you've probably been attacked by a thousand ticks by now um, very very likely that's why I avoid the coombs I was only saying last week don't go up the coombs got to go all the way down if it turns out wrong what I'll do I'll just I don't know I don't know what I'll do I might just go back and go on the original route which I would have wasted probably an hour or two hours then I won't be able to do what I originally planned which was to go over to Hurley Beacon that won't be I won't, that won't be possible and uh, and it won't be at all like I like a like I planned. We've got to go past this boggy bit again now. Look, this is where all the deer markings are. This is where all the ticks will be hanging about in this nice squelchy, damp area. But the right temperature for a tick. Sorry to go on about them, but I have been attacked in the past. So I do know. I really, really do. Right, you've got to find this crossing point, which is right down here. You come a long way up. Well, it doesn't matter, it's a learning curve. Uh, if I'd done it the other way around, I wouldn't have made a mistake. If I had been come, I've always come down. I, I don't think I've ever walked up it, put it that way. I don't think I've ever walked up that way. I've definitely walked up this, on this side. Now you've got to try and cross over down there. It looked like it went too deep. It's all right. It's all part of the fun. I don't mind really because it's a nice day. You imagine if I'd come out uh, on su Monday when it's supposed to be raining and that, and made this error. It wouldn't be very pleasant. Now this is the way you go. But you've got to try and cross. Is it here? I try. I try and cross. Yeah, it's here. Without falling, oh, I can see someone's footprint there. Right then. I'm videoing this bit, everyone, so if I fall in, you can all have a laugh. Ooh. So I'm going to get a bit wet, I think. If you're a man, you've got long legs, you could stretch to that. I'm going to have to use that little one there. The stones are slippery, by the way, as well. Um, yeah, that one's a bit loose. There we are. We've done it. We've done it. We've got across there. Oh. This could be right. I don't know where I'm going to come out, by the way. If I follow this route and I've made a big error and I should have done that one, um, I really don't know, folks, because I'm doing it in in reverse. But I've got a feeling this is the right way. It 
don't get dark to half past six, but I could be making a mistake. Okay, which means I'll have to do one day. I'll have to come out and do it the other, in the other direction, which I know. You know, I know the other direction. Can you feel any anxiety in my voice, anyone? So I'm trying to remain calm, actually. None of this feels familiar at the moment. But I'm going to follow it. It looks like a main route, doesn't it? Bound to come out somewhere, aren't I? Bound to come out somewhere, Shell. Yeah. Just follow this one now. Oh. Just follow it, girl. I just don't feel this is the right way. I don't know what it is. A lot of the combs look alike. <clears throat> and because I haven't done it, maybe seven years, it's an awful long time to try and remember. <sighs> anyway, it's all part of the fun. Are you asleep yet, everyone? This is Sheila. I think it's the 3rd or 4th of October. I'm on the Quantock Hills and I'm in Summer, what's called Summerton Coombe with the Kodak going on and off all the time. We're just going to follow it up now. Are you? Yeah. We're just going to follow it up and we're not going to worry where we come out. If it peters out, that's a different problem. <laughs> Oh dear. Of course, I'm not as young as fit. Seven years ago, I was faster, quicker, stronger. It's true. I think the COVID thing weakened all of us. I think everyone, one way or another, even if you didn't get full-blown COVID, something happened to your chemistry in your body. I'm convinced that the last jab done that to me. I don't, I haven't got a clue where I'm coming out, folks. Honestly. I, I just don't recognise anything at the moment. I'm just, the only, when I'll recognise it, is when the path curls around like that. That's when I'll know I'm on the right track. Because the path I can remember coming down, it, it curled round into the coom. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I know, I know where I am, but I just haven't done this particular track, and I've probably only ever done it twice in my life. But I don't mind. It's beautiful, and this is the main track. I knew that would just take me up to higher hair nap. I don't want to go there yet. It's too early. Oh, do you know what? I've I have been. I've come down through paths over there from the other side, which is Slaughterhouse Coombe. I've come across the top before now. I do know this coombe, but there's different ways of coming into it. Yeah, like a track over there. Yeah, I've come down through there. Listen out for deer, Sheila. Listen out for deer. Yeah, I've definitely come down that way before. That's a deer run. That's a deer run. Oh, they use our man-made tracks. The thing is, you won't, I won't see a deer in this coombe. Right? The deer are going to be up in the sunshine. I'm so slow. Do you know what? I hate being slow. Because I, I can actually remember being a fast walker and uh, I would have been very irritated um, I would have been very irritated with myself seven years ago five years ago even would you yeah I would have been very, very irritated. But I don't mind, like I said before, I don't mind being a plodder. You've got to adapt with your age. You've got to be realistic. 
Plus, I do weigh 12 stone, you know. No, 11. I did weigh, back then, I weighed 13 stone. But I wasn't exactly fat or anything. I used to be a swimmer, I just built muscle. Now, when I didn't stop swimming, all that muscle turned a bloody flab. I ought to start swimming again to tighten up those stomach muscles. Because my stomach muscles had just, just went flop. I used, to, I used to swim, I used to swim with the firemen. And I would swim an hour non-stop. Right, I'd swim an hour non-stop. And I could swim two miles. Non-stop, apart from turning round in the pool. So I had a lot of muscle, abdominal muscle, and as soon as I stopped swimming, because I had an allergy to um, the stuff they put in in the pools, I started to couldn't breathe. I couldn't the stuff they put in. So I had to, I couldn't I had to stop. I stopped. So for many years now I haven't, I haven't been swimming, but I was a swimmer, regular. And then over time, that was lovely strong stomach muscles, just went. They just curled round and flopped down with gravity, now that I'm older. Nothing's holding them up. I know it sounds awful, isn't it? <laughs> but it's a, you imagine, it'd be nice to hear what our ancestors' bodies were like when they were the sage. You know, we, we don't know anything, do we? I'm just giving us description. Oh, I'm quite fit. My legs are very strong. The muscles in my legs are very strong. My shoulders are still very, very strong. Um, what isn't so strong is um, the stomach. Because I stopped swimming. I knew I shouldn't have stopped. I knew it would happen. And it does happen to swimmers, they go flabby. <sighs> they go flabby. Now, are we on the bend yet? Are we curling round? <sighs> Can I see deer? Because where I'm going <sighs> is a place where oh, I can see deer actually. <sighs> Where I'm going, when the deer will sunbathe on the top, I've got a feeling I can see a deer. If I'm going to curl around in a minute, I know I'm in the right place. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not sure though. I'm still not sure. <sighs> 